pretty well You're in for a scare all our stuff. You're crazy, Joe. Now it's mine. And you stay out of my garden. Hey, kids, look what I found. More lawn ornaments, Dad? Yeah, lawn gnomes. I went by lawn lovely this morning. They were just sitting there. I got them for practically nothing. Hey, Dad, that maniac just took my baseball. He just took it. Uh, well, was it in his yard? Well, yeah, but... Well, Joe, what do you want me to do? Go over there and start a war? Oh, come on, let's take a look at these little guys, huh? All right. Whoa, man, these things are weird looking. Come on, Joe, stop forcing around, huh? So, are these things terrific or what? I don't know. They're kind of evil looking. Evil? I think they're cute. Yeah, I think so too. And with these guys in the backyard, we are a cinch to win a summer garden contest, am I right? Yeah, and at Christmas we can dress them up as elves. Santa's elves? Dracula's elves, maybe. So, what do you think, kids? Here? Huh? Hey, Burton! You didn't tell me your relatives were coming to visit. <laughs> the Major wants to be a jerk. Just let him. I was pretty sure I'd win the garden contest this summer, but now I'm positive. These are the most ridiculous-looking things I've ever seen. They're a disgrace to the whole neighborhood. When are you going to wise up and get rid of all this junk? It's our garden. Yeah, not everyone wants their flowers to stand at attention. Kids, come on. The Major is entitled to his opinion. I don't need your permission. The contest judges will tell you which garden is best. Well, I'll take my chances. When they see my impeccable flower beds, my immaculate lawn, my flawless melons. That summer garden award is marching straight home to me. We'll see about that. What was that, Joe? Nothing, sir. You may go back to your petunia, sir. Joe. That's okay, Burton. I just hope Joe here isn't planning to do anything to my garden. A sneak attack, maybe. At night, maybe. You're way off base there, McCall. Joe has been brought up to respect other people's property. Is that why he comes tramping through my rose bushes? Let me say this loud and clear. If anything happens to my garden, I'll be looking for him.
Ruined. They're totally ruined. Uh, take it easy, Major. Uh... Take it easy! Look at this! Oh, boy. I warned him. What's up? Well, Joe, apparently somebody smashed the Major's melons last night. I, I came out to water my columbines before sunup, and look what I found. Maybe it was raccoons. Oh, nice try. Now, raccoons are smart, but they don't throw things against walls, and I never saw one who could do this. Whoa. I warned you to stay out of my garden. But I didn't go in the garden. Burton, it's going to take more than dirty tricks for you to win this contest. Dad, honest. Okay, Joe. Um, try not to let the Major get to you, okay? And, uh... Try to stay out of his way. Okay? Attaboy. Please? My juvenile delinquent brother. I'm telling you, Mindy, I didn't do anything. Yeah, right. Wanna play ring toss? The gnome's pointy heads will make perfect targets. How about your pointy head? You are so immature. Perfect. I'm telling you, Mindy, I didn't smash his stupid melons. Then who did? I don't know, but if I did, I'd shake his hand. Nice one. Is that what your father calls punishment? Playing games with those ugly pieces of junk? Take it easy, Joe. You just try coming in my yard again. I'll be waiting next time, son. Yes, sir, you can bet that. I know he's a jerk, but you better listen to Dad and stay out of his way. Garden. What have you done? But I didn't, sir. It was, it was a nose. It was... My lilies. My azaleas. 
My eagle! I didn't do anything, sir. It was the gnomes. They... What kind of fool do you take me for? You're gonna pay for this. What are these things doing in my yard? What is going on over there? Dad! Joe, what are you doing here? See for yourself. He's been destroying my garden. You can't be serious. You can't deny it this time. I caught him red-handed. Joe? I didn't do it, Dad. Honest. It was the gnomes. Stop right there. No, really. I heard the noise, and I came out, and they and were... And he's a liar, too. I know it's hard to believe. You are going to fix Major McCall's garden. But, Dad... Until it is perfect. You understand? Now, oh, get back in the house. Very sorry, Major. Let's get my gnomes. Soldier, you're going to replant this entire garden by the weekend. All right, over to the Pentagon. Nice, straight lines. Reminds me of the time. Forget it. Got it? Good. Okay, that's enough of a break. All this manure over to the corner bed. On the double! Something doesn't smell so good. I'm too tired to smell it anymore. You deserve it for making up that lame story about the gnomes. I didn't make it up. It's true. Maybe, if you ask nicely, the gnomes will finish your yard work for you. And then you can kick back with me. After you take a bath for about a year. You laugh, but I'll prove it to you. I won't hold my breath. Fishing. No way. Uh-uh. What's uh -uh. missing? Nothing's missing. Go back to sleep. It's just a dream. No, it isn't. I can show you. What do you know? I know when something is a dream. They'll go back to sleep. Big day tomorrow. Big day. Mindy, Mindy, wake up. What are you doing in my room? Come on, the gnomes are gone. You have to come. You're gonna owe me big time. What did you do to them? I didn't do anything. They come to life. Yeah, right. I forgot. They come to life. And then what did they do? You'll see. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. I think he came from the back. Turn that off. Maybe we should go back. No, no, come on. Oh, put it down on them. I'm mad. 
magic spell. <laughs> no! Squish them. I know. We can squish them like bugs. That's what I said. Why are you doing this? Don't you know anything about gnomes? It's what we do. It's in our nature. We make mischief. Anywhere, anytime, and to anyone. Like you. Like you! The light freezes them. Me. You started it. Light. Get the light. Get off it. Hold it right there, or I'll turn you into Mount Rushmore. Afraid. The light freezes them. They're lawn gnomes by day, but in the dark, they're just plain gnomes. Not plain. Peanuts. this junk and I get rid of it once and for all starting with you It was a most difficult decision, Mr. Burton. We love your inventiveness. The way you mix the natural world with whimsy and fantasy. We've never seen another garden like it. Oh, well, thank you very much. I knew you could do it, dear. Well, I'd just like to say that I'm deeply honored to accept the grand prize. Well, I'm sure you would be if uh, you had won. But I thought you... Oh, we were about to give you the grand prize, all right. Uh, but then we saw... Well, it was so, so jarring, so out of place, so, so ugly. Frankly, we were shocked. Are you talking about the lawn gnomes? Oh, no, we loved the lawn gnomes. Cute little fellows, adorable. Well, well then what are you talking about? That hideous lawn ornament. That 